Well, we're out here. Uh, it's ultralight Monday. And uh, we're catching quite a few crappie. Cody's out here in his perception kayak. And uh, the tactic this morning is throwing, throwing as little of jigs as we can. We're throwing 132nd ounce jigs tipped with a one and a quarter inch tail. Guys, he's crappier in the rocks. They're up in the shallows. All over the place. I guess we'll go ahead and talk about my kayak setup, what we have today. We're running a sit on top kayak. I'm running a nine and a half reception rambler. Oh shoot, my line was just in the water and I accidentally got one. What I like about this sit on top is that you're really able to uh, have the stability. Because uh, when I'm kayak fishing, sometimes I like to stand up, but you can stand up a little bit in here, still have to be a little bit careful. And you're getting in spots where it may be wavy and windy. So I don't want to have to worry about um, tipping in or whatnot. So this is a sit on top that I have. Um, just rigged up a couple of rod holders behind me. Have a dry box, uh, five gallon bucket with the sealable gasket lid on there. That keeps all my stuff dry, keeps my lunch um, nice and crispy while I'm out catching the fish. What I'm gonna try here is just dropping it straight below. The boat. See if we can rile any up. They're biting it, they're biting it. Drop it straight down. Vertical jigging these sons again. shot here. Beautiful looking crappie. Cody cruising by. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the crappie right in his cockpit. As you can see these crappie are out moving up in the shallows. Alrighty guys, Zach here. Just wanted to kind of give a quick update on what we're doing today. We came out yesterday and we were doing a lot of kayak fishing for bass and crappie. And that's what uh, really turned us on to these crappie moving up shallow. So we came out here again today. However, we didn't bring the kayaks because these crappie are so shallow. It's almost more efficient to catch them from shore. So we're out here doing the same setup as we did yesterday. What I'm running today, I'm running a six foot light rod. I don't really necessarily like that ultralight when I'm crappie fishing because it's so whippy. This way, my tip is a little more stiff and I'm able to catch, cast out farther than what I would be able to normally, yet still have the sensitivity that I'm looking for. I know in the last video we talked a little bit about knots um, and we went over the Palomar knot. In this case, I'm not running a Palomar knot today. For all my crappie setups, I run just an overhand knot and I'll kind of go over what I'm doing. Today we're running four pound line off a light rod and uh, the jig we're running, this is a custom jig, um, but you can run any 132nd ounce, 164th ounce. You want a light, light presentation. Um, so this is just a hand tied little pink jig uh, with kind of a marabou style to it. Um, so what I'm doing for this knot, and we'll show you a little closer if you can't see, 
You're gonna run your line through. And then just have that hanging. All we're gonna do is just make an overhand knot and we want a loop. Reason being we want a loop. I'm gonna put this through the hole and cinch this up. So if you can see here, there's a loop. So that jig sits freely. When you have a knot tied firmly against this, that jig either sits this way or this way, no matter what. This way, that jig can move freely in that loop and it gives it a different presentation for these fish. This is all we're doing, folks. Just tying little jigs, throwing for these crappie, and it seems to do the trick. Well, I had to take all the phone and wallet out of my pocket because guess what? Lost my favorite jig. We gotta go get it, there's no other way. This is dangerous, we might fall in, but this is a hand-tied crappie jig. We had to get. Doubles. All right, so you caught the crappie. Now, what do you do with it? So you went out and caught those delicious crappie, then we cleaned them, now it's time to cook them. So let's get busy. So here's what we have today. We have our oil, normally I like to fry with peanut oil, but guess who ran out? So we're gonna have to use our vegetable oil. We have our single burner, we have matches to start this guy, which look, let's get it going right now. Let's grab our pan, and we'll pour some oil in. We don't want a whole lot, so let's just get this pan started with a little bit on the bottom. Just enough to cover that bottom, maybe just a touch, a touch more. We have a paper plate with some tongs. These are a must. I threw a paper towel on top to soak up some of that grease because it will be oily and greasy right out of the pan. Next we have our fish fillets, which I've been have soaking in milk for the past hour. That kind of just takes out that fishy taste, um, gives it a good buttermilk consistency. And then we have our batter. So I usually run my batter in one bag, fish in the other bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fish out of here, put them in here, shake them up, get them covered all the way, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our pan. So we'll wait a couple minutes for our oil to get hot, and we'll get sizzling. 